Hello, welcome all to Middle School YouTube channel. Due to COVID-19, all of us are locked in our home. As a result, my teachers have created this online channel. I will be teaching physics, most probably three videos in a week. So without wasting any topic, let's start with today's work. Today I will be teaching energy, which is chapter 4 of your textbook. While I am going through the topics, if you want, you can refer your textbook. And in this video, I will be covering four topics. Number one, what is energy? Number two, concept of work. Number three, conditions for work to be done. And number four, measurement of work. Let's start with number one, what is energy? Energy is the very familiar topic to you. You are learning from very low classes about energy. What is definition of energy? Let us simply... simply ability or capacity to do work. To do work, we need energy. I won't be, I won't be discussing much on this, as all, we all of us know about energy, how important it is to us. If we don't have energy in our body, we won't be able to do any work. Neither we will be able to concentrate in study, nor we will be able to play. So energy is very important in order to do work. Unit of energy is Joule. In short form, we do it is by J. Unit of energy is Joule. In short form, we write as J. You also have learned about conservation of law of conservation of energy, which says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but it can be transformed from one form to another. This conservation of energy, I will, be top, I will be covering in the later topics. As of now, just keep in mind, energy, its ability or capacity to do work, and its unit is Joule. Now we are coming to number two. Topic number two, that is concept of work. What do you mean by a work? Generally, everything you say, no, for example, reading, writing, drinking, learning, walking, everything, everything generally is called as work. But in physics, work has a different meaning. In physics, if I say work, it means work has been done when force has been applied. Applied when force has been applied, and there is a change in position object. Work in physics work is said to be done when you apply a force on an object and the force has to and the position of object has to be changed. If on applying force, then the position of an object doesn't change, no work is said to be done. It's as simple as this. In physics, what do you mean by work? Work is said to be done when we apply force on an object. And there is a change in position of an object. And this change in position on, of an object is also called displacement. Displacement from its initial position or its uh, starting position. Difference between starting position and end position. For example, if I have a box or an object, suppose I call it intersect position or uh, A. On applying force, it shifts to position B. So work has been done. There is a box on applying force from a position A, it moves to position B. 
so work has been done and this a and b uh, represents the difference in position so you know displacement is change in position of an object earlier when no force was applied object was at position a when you apply force object has moved to position b and that is what we say displacement in order to do work there has to be displacement which means there has to be change in position of an object for example when you play football uh, any other game for example or, or such as volleyball basketball you run and your position position is constantly changing hence when you are playing or you are doing work Now I believe you have understood the term work, what it is. Work is said to be done when you apply a force on an object and the object moves or there is a displacement. Um, and we have discussed what is displacement. It is change in the position of an object. Now let's see some examples of work done. Okay, what are the examples of work number one? Lifting a book. Yeah, I have a duster. If I have to lift it, I have to apply force. If I don't apply force, it won't get lifted up. So if I apply force and if it gets lifted up, which means work has been done. Which means work has been done. And what are the what could be the next example? Uh, number two, for example, whenever you are playing football, the position of the ball changes. At that time also work is said to be done. One more thing, work is also said to be done if there is a change in position of an object. If the, sorry, if the shape and size of an object changes. For example, plasticine. If you take plasticine, you apply force on it, which shape, ch shape changes or slime. You take a slime, you can give different shape to it by applying force. In that case also work is said to be done. So what we have come to know so far there are two conditions for work to be done which is our now talk which is our topic number three conditions for work to be done First and foremost is you have to apply force. Number two, there has to be a displacement, which means change in position. It has to be, uh, there has to be displacement or change in shape or size of an object. If these conditions are met, you can say work has been done. Number one, you have to apply force. And number two, there has to be displacement or there has to be change in shape or size of an object. For example, if you take a spring and you apply force on it, you compress it, the shape changes, although it changes for a while. In that, also, in that case also, we can say work has been done. For example, when you squeeze a toothpaste to from a tube, the shape of the tube changes, we can say work has been done. If you take a rubber ball and the uh, composite the shape of the ball will change at that time also work has been done because in all these cases shape or shape of an object has changed these are the these two conditions these are the two conditions for the work to be done and let's see examples for examples where no work is said to be done for example if you stand with a load with a load on your head if you don't move in that case no work has said to be done because there is no change in position at all so if you are standing with a heavy load on your head it is useless it's no work is said to be done but, uh, now next example if you climb my stairs are you doing work yes of course you are doing work because the, the your position is changing so work is said to be done now similarly we, if you are pushing a heavy rock if the rock does not move no work is said to be done despite of applying force you are applying force but there is no displacement in the position of a position of a rock so no work is said to be done despite of applying force in the same way if you push a wall from morning to evening 
no work is set to be done your work done will come to zero only because the wall has not moved by an inch also not a half an inch so in this case no work is said to be done where you apply force and there's no change in displacement or no change in shape or size of an object when the, uh, when the children are playing tug of war there also no work is said to be done because you try to balance the rope both the party both the opponent things but the opponent parties try to balance the rope in tug of war so no work is said to be done this was all about concept of work and conditions for work to be done and we are now we will discuss in the last topic measurement of work how we can measure the work Work done is given by force into displacement. Displacement. Measurement of work. Work done is given by work done is the product of force and the displacement. It is the product of the force and displacement. Once we are done with the chapter, at the end of the chapter, we will do numericals based on this formula. Work done equals to force into displacement. Let's consider one example. Suppose you have two of works. You apply a force of 10 Newton. And it covers a distance of 1 meter. So how much is my work done? My work done will be my force is 10. And displacement it has changed by how much? 1 meter. 1. 10 into 1. That equals to 10 Newton meter. And this Newton meter in work done. We replace it by joule. So no newton meter, we call it as a joule. So work done is 10 joule. Fine. Our work done is 10 joule. It's very easy. Yeah, I have the force 10 newton and it has moved by a distance of 1 meter. Product of force and the displacement 10 into 1 equals to 10. And my work done comes to be 10 joule. Let's discuss the unit of work. Although I have given a bit of idea here, let's discuss in detail. Unit of work done right now, just now, not we have seen work done. equals to force into displacement in short form I will write in this please understand it work done equals to force into displacement here what you can do you can take out your notebook you can write the topic energy and please do it when the school resumes I will be checking all these things number one assignment two assignments I have sent and unfortunately I don't know why some students have not submitted there are a lot or if you don't submit it early I may post their names in this YouTube channel. So please think it and submit as quickly as you can. I don't know why you have not submitted till now. Okay. What I was saying in a notebook, you can write the topic energy, unit of work done. And first you can write the formula which I have given in the beginning. Work done equals to force into distance. After that, you can write the unit of work done. Work done equals to force into displacement. Here, for unit of force is Newton in short form. Uh, in short form, I can write N. So here it comes out to be force newton into displacement meter. Let me rub this so that it becomes very much clear to you. Meter. So in work done it is called 1 joule short form J. You might be noticing in the beginning I've said unit of energy is joule and unit of work done is also joule. Both the energy and the work done have same unit that is joule. Let's discuss what is one joule. One joule. Let's discuss this. Suppose work done, my force applied on an object, one newton and displacement is 
1 meter. So, all done equals to your work done will be will be force is 1 and displacement is 1. So, 1 into 1 joule. So, when a work of 1 joule is said to be done, when you apply a force of 1 newton on an object and it moves a distance of 1 meter, then you can say work of 1 joule has been done. When you apply a force of 1 newton, if it covers a distance of 1 meter, then you can say work of 1 joule has been done. Uh, you will have some in terms of meaning also. You know, diagram. You have a box. You apply a force of 1 newton and if it covers the distance of 1 meter, then we can say 1 joule of 1 joule of work has been done. Done. Okay, this much for today. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Any doubt, any confusion, you can just email to me. And for emails, you have to follow certain things. First, mention your name, class, and section. Then you write the chapter name and the question. Uh, in the coming top, in the coming video, I may I will be discussing your doubts. Okay, any doubt, just mail to me. I am teaching at CND, and both all the sections. It does not mean only CND children will watch this video, but whole section of it that is eight A, B, C, and D have to watch this video and YouTube is very easy to find out the number of views so I expect all the children of class 8 will watch this and if there is any doubt please do mail to me thank you